The White House says that the President's plan achieves $3.2 trillion in deficit reduction. The actual deficit reduction is only $1.4 trillion. This has become the pattern. The President understates the depth of our fiscal danger and overstates the impact of his plans. Consider the astounding disparity between the levels of taxation claimed uh, versus those actually contained in the proposal. The White House asserts $2 in cuts for every $1 in tax hikes. There is not a single penny of net spending that's cut. Yesterday, the President said this, quote, I'm proposing real serious cuts in spending. When you include the $1 trillion in cuts that I've already signed into law, these would be among the biggest cuts in spending in our history, close quote. In reality, under the President's plan, the net change in spending is an increase. In fact, the President's plan is to keep spending more. The White House is trying to be clever at the expense of being credible. The debt is destroying jobs today. And if we're going to restore confidence and growth, credibility is one asset we cannot afford to borrow against. 